There's some sad news and a developing story. That's the dog right there. Right there. Points at him. His name's Hardy. I never told you guys. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Let's do a little bit of let's do a little bit of a, a detour here. So, I never told you guys why um, my kid's moving his daycare center. It's actually the principal or like you know the head, whatever. He got cancer, dude. So they're the daycare center that's been, It's a daycare center that's been open for 40 years, bro. And and they're closing it down. So we've been going to different daycare centers, you know. So like his class are all dispersing, you know. And then I just realized, dude, like like my wife has been talking to the other moms and shit. And there's this girl that has like the same birthday as him, bro. Her name's Toa. Uh -huh. D O A or something. D O A H or something. Doa. My, I was like reading through my wife's text and she was like, this girl Doa thinks that like little Caesar's her boyfriend, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. And she's like, and the mom is always, the Doa's mom's always like, is angry and like doesn't want to go to daycare center. Mm -hmm. She's like, don't you want to see Caesar? And then she's like, yes, you know? And she's going to a different daycare center. They're going to be apart. So they don't even know it, they don't even know it dude. It's like a... Every morning he goes, he looks for it. Yeah, dude. Like I told, I asked her the other day. I, was, I asked my kid the other day. I was like, do you like Doa? And he was like, yes. And I was like, do you like Hazong? And he was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> He's another kid in the class, bro. Oh, oh. me upset, dude. Here, can, can you hold this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, trying to get control. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's take the thing. Oh god, I fucking I took his fucking toy right at the end. <laughs> it's so sad, right? Cause they have like the same birthday and shit, you know? So they like get along really well because they're like at the same development, you know? Yeah. I don't even think he likes her, dude, to be honest. He's just like <laughs> One day they like something, one day they don't. I mean, you know, as you become older, dude, you gotta be consistent with what you like, though. Exactly. And, definitely yeah. Consistent. Like, I've tried so many things in my life. Like, I mean, if I took all those things and I put it towards, like, what I like now, mm. I'm sure I'd be, like, so much further in life. But I'm glad I did everything, you know? I'm glad I, like, play guitar and I box and I can cook, yeah. you know? Just learning something takes a lot of patience. While I was learning all those things, maybe I honed in that, honed in on the skill of patience. And you said it before too. If you learn one thing, you can learn another thing. Of course, translate. it does translate, but it takes uh, some, you know, traits. Right. But it takes some new traits too. Unlocking some part of your brain. I don't know. But yeah, dude, just stay consistent. Be patient. Don't give up. You wanna try the Mr. Beast chocolate? Milk crunch, almond, and milk chocolate. Oh, peanut butter, bro. Oh, okay. Alright, All right. That, that, that's what I was looking for, actually. I was, like, I was about to say, was it worth something? Yeah, I was like, where the fuck's the peanut butter? It might be. They like bought a whole bunch of them, and they can't sell them, so they're putting them on 40% off, bro. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Beast No. No? Yeah, last time was like with Jocelyn or something, no? Yeah, yeah. Damn, I miss Jocelyn, bro. I know. Hell yeah, dude. Our first two mentees get break into tech. I think we're, Still dude, do. I think our fucking thing, right? Yeah. Is like, dude, if you want to break into tech, you can break into tech. The only job is not like a software engineer. Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. project manager, there's, you know what I mean? Coding helps with all of it. And coding, you need a coding background with all of it, right? But, I mean, or like, not you don't even need a background, but you need to know, be knowledgeable, you know? Yeah. And like, and they get exposed to me, dude. You got to be fucking around like five of me all day, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. All the jobs are going to be tech jobs in the future. Come on. Are you making the uh, egg McMuffin today, dude? Hell yeah, dude. That's my thing, dude. Really? 
so much shit is going on in my life right now. We're almost we're almost about to be done with the course. Yep. Uh, we've been hard at work this hard month, work, dude. dude. And every night I've been working, dude. I know. Less social, baby. Last night I couldn't even go on a voice chat. I think I told someone I'd go on a voice chat, but oh, I was like, "Oh shit, you were you were." I thought you were asleep. You just you decided to crank it out. Yeah. That's what's up. Dude, I'm like looking at my old code recently. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? All the time, dude. Like the React Query shit? Yeah. I have no fucking clue, bro. You know, my name is Phil. Wrote my first line of code at the age of 30. You know, if you have any things that you review, leave it in the comments. We got a conversation started. Like, comment, share. It helps us a lot. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives. We're using Firebase authentication, and uh, I was trying to pass the UID that Firebase gives mm. to MongoDB and make an object ID, but the max length for object IDs in MongoDB is 24, and UIDs are 28. So I wanted to use, I wanted to, in, I wanted to save it as an object ID, but you know what? We're just gonna save it as a string. I had ideas to like, I had this idea when like a user was created, like I'll delete the user and then recreate the user with our custom UID, uh, custom object ID. Yeah. But I was like, that's too much work. You know what? With the user's collection, let's just stick with the string ID. But the reason why the object IDs are good is because it helps with populate populates later on. But um, it's all it's okay. I'll I'll just create. I'll just do the same thing with aggregation. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I have so much respect for like older people trying to learn coding. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if like a dad wanted to like talk to his son, he'd have to learn how to code and shit because coding will be just because they started teaching coding in like elementary schools and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And now like people are like, hey, no, coding is like bad. <laughs> but honestly, like, I think it'll still be learned no matter what. Like, mm -hmm. dude, I took two years of Spanish in high school. Don't fucking remember a thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn. Yeah. What's up, Jocelyn? Just rename that. That's done. All right. Hey, Jocelyn. Hola. Hola. Hey, what's up? Um, estoy bien. He estado traba trabajando oh, en esta aplicación de software. Las cosas han ido bien y se han ido... Sacando todas las tedias. I think we should do a, a little bit of planning today. Do you guys see my screen? Yeah. All right. Um, everything is like pretty much set up. Uh, you guys will see. I have no user here right now. And then if I sign in, right? Hold on. I'll show you guys. Log in. Um, Billchoy at iCloud.com. Sign in. And then it creates a user response, blah, 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 blah. And then you'll, you'll see in here, uh, someone is created. And then program language is empty array. I had an issue earlier. But then, and then if I refresh, uh, the user updates. So we see that we see a last scene at that is different from the created at. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We finished with that. And then also now if I log out, and I want to uh, log in, I sign up for a new screen, and I try to use the same email. And I, I go on Blur, it'll show that it's duplicate. So it'll only allow that, allow for like, um, and then it'll show a check mark if it's okay. And then that's where the React Native Toast will come in that I asked Booty to do. So uh, I want to set that up. And then also I set up like a little pattern for us to do. Uh, wait, hold on. I think I renamed this. Okay. Yeah, I, I really like the check mark. Oh, <laughs> thank you. No. Um, yeah, it's a nice check mark, huh? <laughs> no, um, but uh, there's a start team notion for wiki and then an I18N and a React query. Oh, this one's done. Um, React query that we have to set up. These are kind of um, low hanging fruit. What about like um, the setup React Native Toast message? We should put that to doing. I don't know who's gonna do that. Uh, we do need to make this use server health uh, hook to check if server is running. Um, so like if the server goes down, we have to like 
note notify the user like hey like the server's down don't use the app right now um pretty much done and then what else what else what else what else this resource and then we're gonna have points for the user right so i'm gonna call this uh user points users points and then we're gonna put like uh user ID um, points uh, and then we, we probably need more like transactions or something like that and then um here we can do something like um uh, I'm thinking okay. if you guys want to read more molecular molecular is really good at like uh, emitting events to different servers and stuff like that. So like I use this uh, When I insert the user I'm doing this this uh, broker. So that's the NATS uh, To emit this event called user.created that tells all the servers Hey, this this event happened and then I pass in the ID and then that gets caught by these events here and then user.created gets called with this user ID and then um, I create this user points format and then I insert it into the grid basically right here. And that's that's what I did. So we're, that's like I think Booty, I yeah. think that, that's gonna be the fun part of the app, I guess. I think playing with these points. I want you to take a look at this. Ran Kagunal. This guy's molecular data provider. Just take a look. Okay. I mean I'm not quite sure, but just try to get a uh, like something running with React Admin. Like just read through this documentation, right? Like right here, you just have to documentation and then the tutorial and follow this tutorial. Oh, what did you guys think about this dude? Cause you know how on, um, I was thinking about this last night and then um, you know how when someone creates a message, right? I mean, creates, a, creates an account with sign up, right? We only have email password and confirm password right now, right? Oh, we, we do need to add two check check. Uh, I think booty. Can you do this yeah. for me? Um, add two check boxes to um, sign up form to be used later with uh, TOS and privacy policy. So they they shouldn't be able to click submit unless those two buttons are checked, right? Does that make sense? Okay. If you click okay. both of the ones, like privacy policy in terms of service, because you click both of them, it automatically needs to say, "Hey, these are all selected." If you unselect one, like it, it's it's how they all work inside of every single um app. So let's think about it. Okay. You have you have one for check all, right? Yeah. You have one for terms of service, right? Okay. You have one for privacy policy, right? Okay. All right. If you click select all, the other ones automatically get selected, right? Mm. If you unselect one uh, privacy policy or terms of service, pretty much mm. that one gets unselected and uh, select all gets unselected, right? You know, like, the smartest kids, or I mean, the kids that get the best grades aren't even like that smart, but they just kind of do it the way the teacher wants you to do it. Mm. Cause the teacher's always like, I think that's kind of like a uh, code, like these libraries, cause you're working with so many libraries, like let's say like uh, molecular or Node.js or um, all these node packages. But you know, they don't put it out there to like make it hard for you. The creator probably is making the documentation to be used so, you know, he can become a better developer, right? So what they write, like the Firebase Google documentation or like the React Hook form documentation, they don't really write that, you know, not to be used. So you just read it and um, follow exactly how they want you to do it at first. And then you can put your own little like flavor to it. Does that make sense at all? Yeah, that makes sense. Children. 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 React. Yeah, yeah, node org mystery. React. Yeah, yeah, node org mystery. There you go. Now it can. Now 
I can press get started and I'll go here and I can put it, I can just use any animation here now. So now if I want to use an animation, I can go here and um, uh, let's go back, uh, let's go back, let's go back, uh, load the animation. I can search for an animation like uh, uh, like. Uh, is there any animation that you guys like? I'm, you know, it's getting kind of fun now, right? We have like the heart. Damn. We got like we got. <laughs> Look at that, dude! Look at that dude. animation, dog. You're such an ad lib <laughs> Look hype at man, that, dude. dude. Hold on, let me get that. Let me get a shot of that real quick. Dude. Oh my! Oh my god, dude! Hold up! <laughs> oh, holy! Damn! <laughs> whenever i say something just be like just repeat it like oh you see that heart oh like, shit. that heart that heart <laughs> oh you know the react native damn <laughs> i just zoomed in on it too it looks so good dude who who came up with that one uh i think it's song damn song you got good taste brother i mean something like that so you're gonna be like token equals a weight like this and then you need to store it you need to store it. So you need to say config.store token or something like that. And then you need to store the token. So you, we need to create all that kind of stuff.